Hey, what's up, everyone? How are you been this week? I'm coming at you with another video. Um, some big news I have uh, been uh, searching for in uh, RC for three years since I've been doing RC, and um, I have finally got sponsored by Moonville RC. Um, the owner there, his name is Rich. He's a super nice guy, and he um, he saw the potential in me and my friends. And he gave us a sponsorship. Um, we just have to race for him and put stickers on our car. And that's not easy because I got the TQ. Don't worry about me. <laughs> so I'm super excited about it. He's a really nice guy. And make sure if you are in the Greenville, South Carolina area to go check out his hobby shop. He's got everything and he's got really good prices. I know prices. I get most of my stuff off of eBay. And he's pretty close to eBay prices. So it's it's great I'm super excited about it um, we're not racing this weekend but we're racing next weekend so that'll be my first uh, race racing for him being sponsored so I'm super excited about it um, the only thing uh, I need wheels for my uh, B5M buggy oh wait you guys haven't seen that we're gonna cut and I'm gonna show you guys the B5M buggy all right we're back and this is my uh, new B5M buggy I got it from uh, one of my friends, you know who he is, Sugar Bear, and he gave me a real good deal on it. It came as a roller, so I put my own electronics in here, so don't say anything about the wires because this is just a setup so I can test it and uh, get a feel for it because I don't know if I should do 17.5 or put a 6.5 uh, mod motor in here, so you guys can tell me, you know, I'll run whatever. I just want to run what's the popular class so um, we will see how that goes these beautiful shocks got my Savox what is it Savox 1258 turn a little bit overkill but that's okay then I got my Tekken RS Gen 2 with the Tekken Redline uh, the Gen 2 um, 8.5 turn. This was actually in my short course truck, but I just took it out of there because short course isn't that popular where I live if you're not doing 17.5. So I race mod because that's what the bigger guys are doing. So I want to, you know, do what they're doing. And I've actually already done some mods to this car. As you can easily notice, this is the plastic battery cover that comes and it's quite heavy. So I have lightened it up right here. Uh, I just used a Dremel. Well, not even a Dremel. I used a, a flathead screwdriver and a hammer and just stabbed right through the plastic and just cleaned the edges with some sandpaper. It was really easy to do. Um, what else have I done? I think that's it. Oh, and I took both of the braces, the chassis braces, out because I want my car to have as much uh, flex as it can have. So I took those out and I did that and I got a couple, I got a bunch of parts coming in. I got some uh, wheels, I got a motor and then I got ESC so I can either run 17.5 or a uh, mod, doesn't matter. I got my Orion Carbon 4000 mod batteries in there, super good. I got those used from a friend as well. I don't buy a lot of new things because you can get used for a lot cheaper and I haven't had any uh, problem with it so it's worked out for me um, the car is pretty much stock um, I don't think there's anything upgraded in here um, he gave me two bodies I can focus here look at that body look at it I went with I painted this myself don't judge me so we're gonna put it on here and it's a it's a purple green gold so I just I thought it was like Mardi Gras it looks like a Mardi Gras kind of color but I'm gonna call it the jester because back in you know the Kings times they always had a jester to make them happy and the jester would always wear these kind of colors very bright and very funny so I'm gonna call this body the jester so I'm super uh, happy how it turned out if you can look there in the sunlight 
It looks all right. I'm pretty excited about it. Ow. Came with two wings as well. And I got this body that was already on it and painted. It's just a normal red and white theme. It's pretty nice. It's got the Velcro. Um, I'm going to use this for my majority of stuff. And then on big races, I'll uh, bring that. But the car is pretty done. I wanted to update you guys and show you guys the new car I got. And we did finish the upgrades on the SCTE. Uh, we put all new hubs and bearings. I got the front diff in. I'm, ready, I'm waiting for the center and rear diffs, and we can get all new diffs in there. But the car is pretty dialed. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm pretty uh, happy with it. It it just works, and I'm able to do my driving style with that car without having to um, really force it. So it's a really good car. Um, just waiting on the next race. Uh, next weekend, I might just be doing the buggy because buggy i don't think there's that many four by fours at the race we're gonna go to so who knows um but i just want to show you guys the new car it's beautiful and i'll uh i'll do a video when all the parts come in and stuff so it might be next week when that comes in because i'm buying it off of rc tech and don't know when then people are gonna ship but it's okay it's all about getting a deal so i hope you guys like this video and i hope you guys have a great rest of the week um we are gonna go get chickens this weekend because no one's racing until the first so we're gonna go get chickens this weekend for sugar bear uh his dogs eat his chickens um so r.i.p chickens because we never get to eat the chickens after they're dead sadly um, so we're gonna go get him uh, five new chickens. So I'm gonna do a vlog on Saturday. So expect that Tuesday. You know that's gonna be the schedule now. So that's it. We're done. See you guys later.